Hello and welcome back to my channel for the last day of haul week. Day seven and it's a Zara haul. I know that's what everyone has been waiting for. <laughs> Best till last. So a bit of a disaster again with delivery this week. My Zara haul was meant to be delivered yesterday morning, but it wasn't. And then they said it would be delivered yesterday afternoon, but it wasn't. And then they said, oh yeah, don't worry, it's on evening delivery, but it wasn't. So at about, <laughs> Quarter to eight last night, me and my sister had to panic, run into Oxford Street to buy stuff for a Zara haul, which was so, so stressful and so frustrating because I'd spent a lot of time on my Zara order online. Like I'd really sat there, I'd gone through every single option, I'd pulled my favorite pieces, then I'd narrowed it down, then I'd gone back and pulled more pieces and I was like, <sighs> picked up two big bags and a little bag. But quite a lot of the stuff that I bought online wasn't in store or was sold out or I couldn't find it. Zara was like a complete nightmare last night, like all the clothes were thrown everywhere, it was the end of the day, everyone had given up. <laughs> but I didn't want to just buy stuff to fill up a haul, it wasn't like quickly, quickly just fill up a bag so that there's a haul and there's a video to go live, like not at all, I really wanted to buy pieces that I would wear and I like. So, when my Zara haul does arrive, would you like me to do another video of my online Zara order or is that too much? Before we get into the video, I just want to know what has been your favourite haul so far? Which video did you enjoy the most or which clothing did you enjoy the most? Which brand did you think had the best stuff? I'd be really interested to know which was your favourite haul. So if you pop those below, that would be amazing. And have you enjoyed haul week? I'm so sad it's finished. Like, I'm genuinely sad it's finished. I feel like I'm really, like, getting a nice little connection with you guys. We're chatting about things. We're talking about which coat to buy. Maybe if you guys are interested, I'll do like a winter haul week as well as an autumn haul week. <laughs> but just a real quick side note, there won't be a video next week until maybe Sunday because I'm going away, which I'm super excited about, but I've just checked TripAdvisor and they've all said that the Wi-Fi doesn't really work and it's outside of the EU, so I can't hotspot my phone for data to upload a video. So on Tuesday, there won't be a video, but starting from the week after, What's New on High Street will be back. That is all the admin, <laughs> that's all the faff that you need to know. Today I am wearing my Levi jeans, obviously, my Ugg slippers, <laughs> obviously, and this leotard that was in my ASOS haul from Free People. I actually think that this is my favorite piece from the whole week. Like, I love this. It's just so cool. That is all of the admin bits. Let's get into the Zara haul. I'll pop it all up on the rail and we will get trying on. So, as I said before, there isn't that much stuff in this haul. I just didn't want to buy stuff just to fill a haul. I really respect your guys' time and I don't want to waste it by showing you things that I'm just like, uh, just filler. I'm going to dive straight in with coats this coat oh, I've got a hanger in my face <laughs> so this is coat number one now this was in my online order so I was so happy when I saw it in store it's literally like the one thing we're not leaving without is a pink fluffy coat and she was like oh, that will not be here it will have been sold out and I was like we're not leaving without the pink fluffy coat I found all of them and they were in every single size this is the pink coat I picked this up in a medium because obviously what have we learned from this week? Jessica oversizes and everything. And it was 69.99. So it's a 70 pound coat, guys. But let's see if it's worth it. It's pink and fluffy, so yes. Like just above the wrist length sleeve. So you get a little bit of star print coming out. I absolutely love this. Topshop had a very, very similar coat last year, which I had and then I stupidly gave to charity. I mean, not stupidly, all four giving things to charity. But the second that bag went, I was like, Oh no, I actually really want to keep that coat. So anyway, <laughs> this one has now arrived in my life. Do you like the size of this? Should we have stuck to a small? If I'm wearing any of those chunky jumpers underneath, I would want it to be a bit big. I absolutely love these buttons. They're this kind of crossover leather, like so. And then I'm gonna do a top for you. And I think that this would look really, really cool with like a very long sleeve white top. So you just have your little white sleeves coming out. Uniqlo do the best thermals and so that would just be what I would wear it with like a really long sleeved white thermal thing and then this big fluffy coat and a pair of jeans it's so fluffy it's really warm it's lined as well it's got two pockets so it's just below my hip bones and I just think this is just like such a cool little staple so let me know what you think about this one and again I would just style it with these boots these are from ASOS last year but I'll link some similar and just a pair of either skinny jeans mum jeans whatever so funny story about this one my sister actually found this one she was such a trooper last night like I really appreciated that she came with me into Zara when we got in I was like right split up go find all of these things on my list of my order. And then I was walking around, huge, huge piles of clothes in my arms, like trying to find something that would fit. And then I just saw her in the corner trying on clothes for herself. And I was like, 
I was watching her for about five minutes just going. And actually what she was trying on was this, this coat, which <laughs> I then bought. <laughs> But it's fine. We always have matching things. It's okay. So this is a big coat I would wear this like to go dog walking or for like Sunday afternoon walks or you know If I'm going to a fireworks display just something to keep you super warm the best part of it It's reversible. So inside it's super fluffy Can you see the fluff like this level of like luxurious fluff, but then on the on the outside It's this kind of like waterproof material, but I am assuming it's not waterproof two different ways of wearing it this way just like a super cool like bomber parka jacket style this is a small and it's very oversized luckily my sister is five foot one or something and so this looked too big on her so i was like i'll take that one i'll take it we'll order you an extra small so this is what it looks like it is 69.99 so it's an expensive bomber jacket but then dun, dun, dun. oh and it's got a hood as well oh my god it's so snuggly love it it's so soft you can wear it like this, super casual, so when you're on a dog walk, it doesn't matter if you get covered in mud. Or, if you wanted to glam it up a bit, which, you know, we all do, you can just reverse it, and you've suddenly got a black, fluffy coat. Two coats for the price of one, guys. Two coats for the price of one. So, yeah, look at that. It's like a big, snuggly teddy bear coat. This would look so cute with a pair of black jeans, black boots. I just feel like some kind of ski bunny. Like, I just feel like I should be on the mountains right now. That's my vibe. With my Eskimo chic. Oh my god, it's so soft. Really cool, really warm, really practical, really amazing. Highly recommend. Right, one more coat to show you, which is this beautiful coat. Now, this is very different from the last coat. This is a formal, beautiful, smart, gorgeous non-dog walking coat. I would never go dog walking in a pale blue coat. I'm not stupid. This one is, again, 69.99. I got in a size small. It's a very, very soft material. This baby blue color is just gorgeous. I really like how Zara coats fit. I'm not sure if this looks a bit cardigan-y because of the color. I didn't have any camel colors left. This is just so smart. So it looks like this. What do you think about this one? It's like a kind of a mal pale blue color. I think it fits really nicely on my shoulders. Let me see if I can find a comfy jumper somewhere among all the comfy jumpers that's sprawled out across my flat. So I just popped on my mango jumper and let's see what it looks like. I really like this as an outfit. I think this would look really nice. I think this pale blue with this cream and the denim really looks cute together. Also, the fact that it's got cream buttons makes it really easy to wear with like cream jumpers, pale jumpers. So whilst I'm still in this big jumper, I just wanted to show you this blazer. Now they didn't have this blazer in store in a small, so it is going to be a medium but i just wanted to see what the color would look like with this jumper but i think this looks really cute what do you think about this as an outfit do you like it i know it's going to be too big let me just take off the jumper and try it on i just want to see what you think of the color i really really like this i mean it's not massively big so i think the small would fit me perfectly this one was 49.99 i just really like this blazer it's nice thin material it's a good cut and i like the turned up detail on the sleeves it comes down to classic standard blazer length those are all the jackets but let me know what you think about those did you like any of them let me know. Let's move on to some dresses. I've got three dresses to show you. It's honestly like I am such a weirdo. Like whatever I'm wearing, I seem to find in my haul. <laughs> so I've got this, <laughs> this dress, which is very similar. It's got star print and also a floral print. Hopefully it doesn't make me like a two year old off to nursery, but you never know. And it's got a cute little button up back here. So let's try it off. Oh, this is so so cute, you guys. I absolutely love the stretchy bit here, but then this really, really cute little floaty frilly bit here. I love the sleeves. I think they're gorgeous. Very boho style. Really cute. I'll show you the length of it as well. Like, so this is just such a cute little autumn piece. I would get so much use out of this. Just whack on some tights when it gets a bit colder. And then I would style this a couple of different ways. Either I could just whack it on with a leather jacket like so. Grab a little bag. This is the H&M one from yesterday. Like this is just such a cute little autumnal outfit. Just wear a big pair of chunky boots as well. Either some heeled boots or just the little buckle up boots I show in all my videos. This bag actually really complements this dress. It's got those kind of mauve colors in there. If you didn't want to wear a leather jacket, you wanted something a bit smarter, go for this blue coat because there is some pale blue in here as well. So you could also go something like this. Super cute. Really pleased with this. What's it look like on as well? 
then yeah, I really, really like this outfit. Much smarter, something that you could wear to a meeting, you could wear to work, you could wear to a family party or something. This dress also could go from day to night really easily. I could get away with this going out for dinner. $29.99, which I think is really, really good. So I'm really pleased with this. Let me show you the pattern a little bit closer. So you can see the little stars. And I got this in a size small, fits me really nicely. I've got another black dress to show you. Now this is more of like a baby doll style. It's got some cute little pom-poms here. It's got a cute little zip up at the back here. And I'm not sure if this will look flattering, but I'm gonna try it on and see. But I'm really liking black dresses at the moment because it means you can accessorize with different colored bags and different colored coats. And I don't wanna take this off, it's so pretty. Okay, so something I was not expecting when I put this on is that this is actually a play suit underneath. So you are fully protected from big gusts of autumnal breeze that are gonna come and billow your skirt up. You are fully protected, look at that. I'm not sure if I look a bit like a sack or whether it's a really cute little number. It is short, like it's very short and I do kind of look like a potato. Normally I would just whack a belt around my middle but I think this will make this too short. This would look really cool with a pair of thick black tights. I picked up this um, leopard print belt from Zara because it's cool and I like to have a little bit of leopard prints in my haul, have you noticed? So if I just did this up, I still don't know how I feel about this. This belt's a bit too big for me, I picked up the wrong size. But if I come up here and show you what it looks like the thing I don't like about this belt is that it doesn't have a extra thing to like loop this into I don't know what I'm trying to say but you know like this will just continuously flap and it needs to it needs a strap to buckle it down what do you think about this play suit dress sack vibe then if you wanted to wear it with a color you could just whack it on with the pink coat and you are good to go. I'm just gonna really quickly pop on this belt and see, because I can make it a bit tighter. What do you think about it now? I don't know how I feel about it, and it is short. But I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. I think I would feel much more comfortable in this if I was wearing tights and some little heeled boots. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Okay, right, I'm gonna show you a dress now that I bought for a more smarter occasion, like a party. It is big and shiny and green, so if I look like an alligator in the next clip it's not my fault or a frog or a slug here we have a velvet green dress now I saw this oh let me tighten this up a bit I saw this and I thought that this was just so pretty on the hanger but I do think I look a bit like a frog nice slimy frog I really like this I've got a few family parties coming up I've got my mum's 60th I've got my grandma's birthday I've got my sister's 18th my other sister's 25th it is an expensive year for me so there's lots of times to party wear something nice so I picked up this I just absolutely love the velvetiness of it I don't know if it's the most flattering thing or if I look like something from a Jane Austen novel I should be going to Bath to drink tea with the gentleman. Let me know what you think about this one. I actually really like this tie detail here. I just think because my shoulders are so narrow, this bit kind of floods me on top. But let me know, I absolutely love this like floaty, swirly skirt. So it's also got a really nice open back, excuse my bra. But what do you think about this one? So it just falls really nicely like so. I actually really like this. Is this the most unflattering thing you've ever seen? Is this good for a 60th birthday party? Oh my god, my mum will kill me if she knows I've announced her age. She's actually still 27, she would like me to let you know that, but um... We've got some skirts and some camis to show you. I love Zara camis, but I haven't restocked on camis in a really long time from there, because mine always last quite a long time. But yesterday I treated myself, I've got a white one, a black and white one, and a black one. I really mixed it up with the colour. <laughs> and then I've got two skirts to show you. First of all is this skirt, and then also this little cute black cami, which needs to be tucked in at the back, because it is super long. So I'm going to talk to you about the skirt really quickly. This is a kind of tweed, it's a nice cream colour. It kind of looks like a Chanel skirt, which I really like. Apart from it's got a zip all the way down and some little zips here. Are these actual pockets? No, these are just details. I just think this is really nice. It's got a nice waist. The only thing is that it's not very flattering on this part of me here. It really like emphasizes it because where the zip creases and these two details meet. And then this top, now this is a kind of um, faux suede material but very very thin material I don't know how to explain it and then it's got this lace detail that goes all the way down here so I would have to wear a black bra with it not this like grey Victoria's Secrets one and yeah it's got cute little spaghetti straps but the lace comes up really high which I really like this is really good for wearing like oversized jumpers so you can show a bit of lace my grey cardigan I was wearing the other day or the maroon cardigan in yesterday's video if you have a few of those buttons open and you can see the lace that looks really really nice what do you think about this cami I would just touch this cami into jeans or 
obviously a skirt or something just a really really good layer if you didn't want to tuck in it's got this really cute what's this word hem so it's quite pointed at the front and at the back just a bit different it looks a bit like a handkerchief however i have like a complete phobia of not tucking things in i like having things tucked in but at the back it's quite cute especially if you're wearing jeans that would look really cute if you're wearing mum jeans just to have that flowing down the back so let me know what you think about this one i'm going to quickly try this skirt on with this top and then show you the other two camis so you know i've been looking for a tartan skirt and i saw this and i was like whoa they've nailed all the different colors it's tartan it's pleated let's try it on it's a bit crazy but i like crazy so this is a small and it's expensive it's 49.99 i just think it's really really cool it's like every single different type of tartan pattern color you can get but mixed into one skirt i have absolutely no idea which way round it's supposed to go the label is there so i'm assuming it's meant to have the yellow on the front then you have the ready bit on the back but yeah let's try this on maybe this just looks like you've ripped your school skirt and put together everyone else's school skirt and you're just a bit confused like you don't know which school you're going to so you're like oh yeah i'll just wear every uniform <laughs> we get up here and show you what do you think about this one is this too crazy or is this really cool it is short but it's okay because like with the skater skirt from yesterday because it's not really tight you don't feel like it's going to rise up and show everyone your bottom okay, i absolutely love this yellow color here i think it's quite flattering that it cuts off in a different color here so you don't look that wide i love the pleat i do feel like i'm in st trinian's or a mashup of clueless i had to mention clueless somewhere in this video otherwise it would have been like two videos and i hadn't mentioned it and then that would have been like whoa a crime against the autumn hall week I really like this i think it looks cute with the cami and then i would style it with guess what guys a leather jacket st trinian's outfit so yeah what do you think about this one i really like this one i know that so many people will say like what on earth are you wearing that is disgusting but i'm kind of vibing it let me know what you think definitely better than the tartan skirt from yesterday which was gross right two more camis to show you and then i think we're done <laughs> another reason i prefer shopping online on zara you don't get this where is it? Can you see it? Nice big foundation mark. Oh, no, you should always like pull, cover your face and pull. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take this back, but I'll swap it and get another one because these camis are just so great, so basic, so useful, so cute with the little frills. This one I thought would be much more see-through than it is, but with a nude bra, grey bra, it would be fine. I really like the fit of this. I like the spaghetti strap. It's just got a foundation mark on it. Um, this one was 19.99 and I got it in a small, so they're slightly loose fitted, which I really like. I struggle with the Topshop camis because I feel they're so tight on my boobs and I don't even have the biggest boobs in the world, so I don't understand why they're so tight. Whereas these fit really nicely one more to show you which is this kind of beetlejuice cami oh it's inside out like this that's got a black bit of lace here then the black and white stripes so we'll see what this one looks like i really really like this one i just think it's a really cute little basic i like the stripes i like the frill detail here it looks great tucked into a pair of jeans this one was this one was 19.99 again i got it in a small ta-da 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 looks really cute hello Alex is awake. Morning, sunshine. Do you want to come say hello? He doesn't want to say hello. How rude. I would just style it like this with a belt, maybe. This would also look really cute with this coat with the pale blue and then the black and white, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, let me know what you think about... Oh, nearly lost the top. And that's everything. All finished for the week. I bet the doorbell's going to go and my Zara online order is going to arrive. But we're just not going to think about it. Let me know if you would like to see that one. So that is everything for this whole week. I'm finished. I'm done. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed it. I've absolutely loved doing it. Thank you so, so much for all your support this week. It means so much to me. And if you haven't already, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. I will love you forever. Just let me know what pieces were your favourite, what haul was your favourite, what day was your favourite. Now that haul week is finished, I am completely open to suggestions on what to film on my channel. What would you like to see? Would you like more styling videos? Would you like more hauls? Do you like any beauty, makeup, skincare let me know anything you want to see pop them below in the comments and i'll be getting back to everyone so yeah don't forget there won't be a video on tuesday but starting from the following week there will be regular videos again and hopefully i'll have some exciting content to go up for you i really hope you've enjoyed this week i've absolutely loved it so thank you so so much if you've got to the end of this video and you've watched all seven videos then i can't explain how much that means to me if you have got to the end of this video then put a little star emoji in the comments and i'll be able to come and see who's watched all seven videos 
videos and got to the end of this one and i can just give you some love thank you so much and bye autumn hall week bye guys